And right. let's continue this discussion because there are dark pools, algorithms, coding, man and machine all working in milliseconds. So how does it all come together? Dominic Chu went out on the road. He took us inside the lab for future Here traders. on the banks of the Hudson River in Hoboken, New Jersey, right across from the financial capital of the world, lies Stevens Institute of Technology, which is home to one of the most advanced Wall Street training programs in the world. Students at Stevens Institute of Technology are getting to use the latest and greatest in financial and markets technology, all in an effort to prepare as much as possible for a future on Wall Street. This floor here, this facility is built to duplicate what they will find when they get on the trading floor at Goldman Sachs or JP Morgan. How, how surprising is it that Wall Street is demanding so much more technical expertise out of future traders? Is it all that surprising to you? To me, no. I'm a mathematician, so I've seen this coming for, uh, for a long time. We expect more and more that uh, trading will be only electronically, so it's very important that uh, they have uh, good technological skills. And there's even demand from students to learn about the business of high-frequency trading. So there is actually the students who choose to go into that field, and uh, they represent about 10 to 20 percent of the students. But high-frequency trading represents just one small aspect of the curriculum. Students get hands-on education across all aspects of finance. So we're um, conducting a due diligence on American Express. What I'm looking at right now are the XBRL filings for GE. We're building a trading algorithm in C++. The bottom line is that the tuition money spent translates into getting a job. All right, so it's blowing my mind right now. J just how many of you guys have actually worked for or are going to work for Goldman Sachs? All right, that's one, two, three, four, five. So five of you guys in this room have or are going to work for Goldman Sachs. Very, very interesting. Dom, those are some scary, smart kids. It, it blew my mind. I mean, all really? of these kids, first of all, they're all students right now. Only a handful are graduating. But as students, it was always so competitive when I was growing up in the business to get a job, right. an internship at a bank. I never had one before I went to Wall Street. These guys seem to be lining themselves up for all these internships at places like BlackRock, JP Morgan, hedge funds. A, a, a few students said they work for fund of funds, both internationally and here at home. But it's you amazing. Could, but you know, Simon, it goes to the fact that if you, if, if high speed trading is going to be part of your bread and butter at a firm, you want the youngest, most nimble, um, yes. and be best educated people to, de to be in your firm. And actually, you're sending them out around the world. I mean, increasingly, they're less focused on what's happening here on the American market because of the way in which we're pricing at the moment and sending them abroad, sending them to emerging markets and into other areas. If you look at how now advertising is traded, it is increasingly going to be automated in that way mm -hmm. and arguably will need the same skills to capitalize on it. This is the future of the world, like it or not. Absolutely. It's all about tech. Nicely done. It's all about tech. Absolutely. Okay.